Behind me, there's a $75,000 house that 99% of people would never buy to flip. I'm probably crazy for doing this, but I got a call from my man Luis over here that there's money to be made. So we're gonna go and take a look and see if this house is worth taking on. Spoiler alert, I kinda like it and I'm probably gonna buy it. So let's go check it out and see exactly what needs to be done to make money here. So I get a call from Luis here says, hey dude, I got this house. I mean, I can't even get a call, you just texted me. Yeah, I just texted you. You texted me the house that's right behind us, and you're like, 75K, 30K renovation, 130K sale price. And I was like, you son of a bitch, I'm in. <laughs> uh, then I looked at the photos and I was like, oh my God, what have you gotten us into? So today we're gonna be touring this house that you see behind me. We're gonna see if there's money to be made here, but you seem to believe that there is. Oh yeah, absolutely. Once you flipped a few uglies like this. <laughs> a few uglies, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. You start to get comfortable with properties like this. Yeah, nice man. Well, let's go take a look. Let's do it. By the way, if you haven't seen it and you're unfamiliar with the concept of wholetailing, I actually did a whole video on this. So I interviewed my buddy, Henry Washington, who does this full time. Go check that out if you want to understand the ins and outs of what makes a good wholesale deal versus a good flip. Honestly, this seems like it would be a good flip, but because of the speed, I'm in and out of this thing for minimal cash for a really great return. So check out that video after you're done watching this video, okay? The idea is to get in and out, the junk out would take about three or four days, re-roof in a day. So you're gonna re-roof the whole thing? Re-roof the whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, siding repair as needed. So like, for example, there's some uh, rock sided there. Um, here, I see that there's termite damage. So I'll repair place, pieces like that. And this looks scary, but all this is is flaky paint. Yeah. So the wood is still highly intact. Yeah, the goal is to get in and out in two weeks. So yeah, Rob, you look like you're in pretty good shape. So uh, I think that if you uh, if you dare, I can give you a tour on the inside. Oh God! It's All like right. uh, it's like uh, what's what are those? It's like CrossFit, but uh, yeah. Uh, HGTV edition, I guess. Why am I zoomed out right here? Give me a second. Yeah, this is quite the uh, the gay raj, huh? Yeah, it's. And literally, I'm, again, standing on all this trash. It's about four or five feet tall. Can confirm. I mean, there's dangerous. asbestos in there somewhere. No, actually, it's just some mold. All right, let's yeah. pop in. Ooh. It smells like a Goodwill in here, so <laughs> we got that going for us. Very much oh, so. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so you think we can get out of this in two weeks, huh? Uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll put six guys I don't here. think I could even climb through this house in two weeks, much less <laughs> flip it. <laughs> Yeah, it's intense. All right. So this is the only entryway, huh? Yeah, it is. It is. And everything's piled up about. Ooh, there's some nice wasps up there. Nice, cute little wasps right there. There it is. There it is. Oh, As boy. we get deeper, it gets more stable, if you can believe that. I had a dollar for every time I heard that. OK. Public service announcement. Don't try this at home. I am walking through literally what appears to be a hoarder's hen. I mean. It's crazy, people lived here at some point. I don't understand it. I'm honestly not convinced someone doesn't live here now. Oh my God. It gets worse, yeah. It I'm gets, standing. you said it gets more stable. But then it gets unstable, <laughs> Oh geez, bro. But what I like about here, and I've been back, I've been through the whole house. It's like playing Tetris, but with your feet. Oh, I'm getting that impression, that's for sure. So the worst part is this back part over here. Jesus. That's really where it's most termite ridden. Okay. So I factored reframing this entire back half of the house. I factored about 10 grand for that. It doesn't concern me as much because it's really only the wall. So I'm already factoring, you know, that amount of money for the termite repairs and for, you know, the termite uh, pest control portion, the framing, all of that. So if you dare trek a little further. I guess I have no choice. Yeah. By the way, for what I'm doing here, which I don't ever do this, give me a, hit the like and subscribe button. I'm going in, I'm literally shaving off years of my life to walk this house this for y'all. This is why men live longer. <laughs> <laughs> is it? I, I really doubt that. And now a quick break to announce HostCon 2.0. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to announce this. I've been working on this. My team has been working on this round the clock to bring you my short-term rental conference, the second round of it. We did the last one back in January. It was completely sold out. Standing room only. We didn't have enough food. There's so many people there networking, partnering, doing all that kind of stuff. I'm excited to announce that on October 29th and 30th in Houston, Texas, HostCon is going down. I'm gonna have speakers 
features like Jesse Vasquez talking about midterm rentals. I'm gonna have Avery Carl talking about recession resistant vacation markets. Mark Simpson talking about building a direct booking business. Pace Morby will be there to teach you how to build a multi-million dollar real estate portfolio for zero dollars through creative financing. I've got the most insane industry titans and speakers lined up for HostCon. And the best part of it is you're gonna have me on stage teaching you how to do this short-term rental thing. So if you wanna be there and you wanna get in the room with hundreds of other short-term rental operators, then head on over to hostcon.com or click the link in the description down below. We got early bird pricing going on right now, so it is the best time to snag your ticket to HostCon in Houston, Texas. All right, back to the video. Oh, brother. So, so from the front, guys, this is actually the worst. Um, this is actually the worst hole, but all the wood is still intact on the rafters. So, yeah, we've got some plywood we got to replace, but still feel confident about the ability to repair. Oh, yeah. Geez. <laughs> okay, so you've done this level of hole tail before a couple of times. Yeah. And you've been relatively successful hitting hitting your marks. Yeah. Okay, so let's let's walk through the numbers really fast. We're looking at a seventy five thousand dollar purchase. You got this as a wholesale deal. Mm -hmm. How'd you find that deal? So actually, a local wholesaler. I met him at an event, and uh, he was like, "Hey, I've got this deal, and I don't know who the heck would buy it." And I go. I bet you I know somebody. <laughs> <laughs> that man is me. Okay, so seventy-five grand. We're gonna put thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars allegedly into this place. Have you factored in the cost of body removal? <laughs> so, because that's expensive. Thirty thousand dollars to put into. So we're gonna be all in one hundred five. Sell this mm -hmm. thing for one thirty. So after commissions and closing costs and all that stuff, we're looking at about a twenty thousand dollar profit, yep. give or take, for give two weeks take. of work. For two weeks of work. All right. I guess that's our title. The seller was actually asking me if they could have access after closing because they wanted to take a peek in here. Uh, I'm under the impression there's probably live firearms, but oh, the, guy, the guy is incredibly army. So I, for all I know, this could be a gun. I don't know. That looks like a lawn chair to me. But, yeah, it could be. You know. What's even the story on this? Why would someone sell this? It's a, it's a sad story. The wife left him because he kept piling stuff up in the house and piling and piling and piling. This has been vacant for 20 years. And so um, that she finally hit a breaking point that, I mean, Finally, right? Finally hit a breaking point that she needed to sell. She needed the cash, and we were there to help her out. <laughs> Namaste. So this is a very type A person, very organized. You know what I always think about in these scenarios specifically is that there was a point in time where this house was not only brand new, but really nice. You know, they built it and they were like, oh, this is like, wow, this is my home. It's crazy to think how many people over the years have lived here and like how much it's aged and how many people have had memories here, proposals, deaths, celebrations, new life, everything. That's always like the interesting thing about houses to me. And now we're kind of on the opposite side of it where we're gonna fix this thing. We won't be the one, the final, we won't be given the final product away, the flipper will, but this house will be new again eventually. All right, let's get out of here, it's hot. Oh, I'm gonna need a shower. Bro, I am not gonna lie. Until that wasp leaves, I am not motivated to leave this house. F hell, I hate wasps. I feel like I'm documenting like a crime scene. Oh boy, let's go, let's do it. Huh. Oh, okay. You know, whatever I'm standing on does not feel like it's gonna be here in like 10 seconds, so your boy is happy to, to leave. Oh God. That was bonkers. Uh, I'm actually glad I'm outside again. Yeah? It's crazy. Oh, oh, I see, because of, <laughs> because of the fact that we just shaved three years of our life with whatever asbestos we just smelled. How are you making money in this deal? How does it work? Because you are you the wholesaler? Are you making an assignment fee? I am. Okay, cool. Yeah. So this property, the assignment fee is already included in the 75K? It is. Here was the original uh, numbers. This deal got brought to me for 50, excuse me, 55. Cool. The original wholesaler got it for 50. Okay. Yeah, we'll be assigning it for 75. Nice. Good, yep, good thank for you. you. See, I should ask more questions before thank you. I said yes to this deal. Okay, cool. <laughs> so you get a $25,000 assignment fee, but 20. then, okay, $20,000 assignment fee. Then you're actually doing the contract where yeah which is about 30k how does that work when you're pricing it out you know honestly and maybe i maybe i should say this maybe i shouldn't 
I'm not really making money on the contracting side. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're just My, doing this for little old me? The goal is just to get the deal done. <laughs> okay. Um, so the seller is in a pickle. She needs to close fast. If I mark this up anymore on the contracting side, it's not going to really It, it won't work for the, the, the no. for me, the end buyer. But yeah. Or the mid buyer, because then there's still another end buyer who are going to flip this to, right. right? Yeah. Okay, so, cool. So the goal is just to get in and out. And the reason why we elected to do the hotel as opposed to the full-blown rehab, not that we can't do it. I just don't want to get stuck two, three, four months doing a full rehab yeah. for that little bit. You know, the goal is again to extract that equity at some of it for the work performed. So the goal is to get in, yeah. get out. And it's such it's such an easy way to approach it as far as the trades yeah. that I don't really feel compelled to, you know, have to sit there and go, oh, you missed the spot with the paint. Sure. The investor doesn't really care at the end of the day, right, uh, right, right. whoever's the end buyer is. Cool, nice. So really this ends up being a win-win for both of us because basically you're gonna make 20 grand on this, I'm gonna make 20 grand on this, yep. and we're gonna do it in under a month. Pretty much. Do it. Whoosh. Let's go. <laughs> awkward. <laughs> yeah, that was a little awkward. <laughs> I would fix it for YouTube, but it's like, yeah, this is it's real. Honestly, <laughs> Rob, I thought this place would scare you. It does scare me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest. But, it does scare yeah, me, but uh, you know, I'm not the one emptying out the body, so I think well, I'll be all right. Well, you usually buy really pretty Airbnb properties. It's true. So I, didn't, I thought I actually thought about you because because we oh, we looked at that you? other deal, and I was like, well, maybe this ugly one would appeal to you. So. Yeah, well, you know, it doesn't, but $20,000 does in two weeks. That's probably the greatest return I'll ever have. See, you're, you're good at this, man. You're, you're doing good. You know how to YouTube. You're, I do. you're a natural born YouTuber. I am. I actually throw my own events, and so. Hey, this is not the place to plug your stuff, man. What are you doing? No, I'm, just oh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But if you want to follow me on Instagram, at Flip for Profits, I'll see you on the other side. So. Effectively, what we have here is a house that needs some loving. We're not gonna give it all the loving, but just a little TLC to get it to look less scary to a flipper. So we're gonna fix it up. We're gonna dump in 30K into this, fix the roof, replace windows, replace doors, give them a shell, a hollow shell that doesn't look quite so deathly or asbestos-y. And we're gonna sell it to a flipper who's gonna come in, put in what, 40, 50K? Something like that. And then they're gonna make 40K, 50K, something like that. So it's kind of interesting. We're gonna come in, do probably the easier, easy work, body removal. We'll make 20K, then someone will come in and spend way longer than we spent to make 40K. Is that, is that kind of how these things usually work? Absolutely. Yeah, that's crazy. I like it. Let's do more of these. I think a lot of you at home would be scared to take something on like this, but honestly, when you explain it, it's, it's not that scary. Um, as long as you have a team that's willing to put on uh, N95 masks and hazmat suits and come clean it out, this is a great, I mean, 20K in, a, in two, three weeks worth of uh, work. How fast do you think it'll sell? Oh, I think it'll be off gone in two weeks. Okay, so one month we'll make 20k. If we did this 10 times, that's $240,000 a year. You can make flipping ugly, disgusting, moldy, dead body e asbestos driven homes. Think about that for a little bit. You want to make $240,000? Like and subscribe. I'm going to show you how to do it. Catch you on the next episode of Rob Hill. Maybe. There might be more to this story, but yeah, you know. Catch you on the next episode of Rob Hill. Bye.